Hey everybody and welcome to the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your reading. Now, we're going to be looking at Divine Masculine's energies. We already took a look at Divine Feminine's energies, and we see Divine Feminine is coming into an additional awakening about her union and about her connection with Divine Masculine. I'm using my Divine Connections Tarot deck. It's a deck that I created specifically for Divine Masculine energies. It is not available. It is out of print. So those of you who have it, congratulations, because I'm not reprinting that um anytime soon okay but i do have a queen's journey oracle those decks um, are still available and i think i only have three left so if you guys are interested in purchasing that oracle deck i used it on the queen of light 11 11 video for the divine feminine i love that deck if you guys are interested in purchasing it i only have three left before it goes completely out of stock um, go to my website queen of light 1111.com and as i mentioned already ready if you are interested in some additional support on how to navigate through this difficult mercury retrograde consider um, purchasing that video that i did for my level two members um, it's ten dollars and ten cents you can just pay that through the paypal link that is in the description box of this video or you can be a level two member and you'll get that and all of the other videos as part of your subscription okay bottom of the deck for divine masculine is destruction now this specific card is a 3d card because in this oracle deck we have 3d and 5d energies so masculine is actually going through some sort of tower moment and there is some sort of destruction there's some sort of ending that is occurring and that is about new opportunities being at the crossroads right he's been at the crossroads for too long he's been stuck in this planning stage for too long and it's time for him to start his steady forward movement it's time for him to start to go the distance it's like enough thinking already try to figure out how to go forward now we're done with the thinking we're done with the perpetual planning he knows that he needs to make a plan he knows that he needs to start taking steps forward instead of just standing at the crossroads when he is in his overall energy for his divine feminine we've got archangel michael and protection there is some sort of protection that he is offering his feminine right now and that is protection of his love right it's protection temperance it's like he knows that he is not in the place of harmony he knows that he is not in the place of balance he knows that he's been overindulging he knows he's been doing things that he shouldn't be doing he knows he's still stuck in some sort of lesson and so right now you know archangel michael is very much protecting him protecting the divine feminine protecting the connection from any movement forward and we have the moon card and it says divine feminine so his overall energy towards his feminine is i'm not ready right now i'm not ready to come forward temperance is a card of taking your time temperance is a card of you know making sure those the two of cups is on the same page that are tempered someone's not hot someone's not cold and so in his overall energy towards his feminine he's just like look i am protecting you from me right this love is being protected so tap into that inner divine feminine energy tap into your subconscious divine feminine this not moving forward right now is for your protection is for my protection is for our protection when he's thinking about his feminine he said he's in his intuition he's using his intuition he's in the energy where he also wants to be the magician and we saw that in divine feminine's overall energy towards masculine majestic magician and so in the energy when he's thinking about his divine feminine he knows that he needs to manifest himself into the king of swords he needs to be in, in the energy of his truth of integrity of balance of harmony and that he needs to get his thoughts together right he needs to have a clear vision and perspective in order to come forward to divine feminine so when he is in this energy right now when he's thinking about his feminine he's like you know what i've got to use my inner guide i need to manifest myself i need to create the energy of communication only when i am in my own truth when i'm in my own own integrity and until then, this Ace of Pentacles, which is at the bottom of the deck, no new opportunities can come forward until I am in my truth. 
until I can offer diplomacy and justice. When he's in his heart space, he's communicating to you, Divine Feminine, telepathically. You may be getting messages from Divine Masculine, Nine of Wands, him saying, I need, I need time. I need this energy to gain my spiritual strength. I need some time to assess my situation. I need some time. My Empress, my Goddess of Love, in his heart, telepathically, this Divine Masculine is saying, yes. I love you. I love you. I need some time. And I know a lot of you probably roll in your eyes if you're a divine feminine and say, how much freaking time do you need? It's been seven days, seven weeks, seven months, seven years, whatever it is. But here's the thing. Remember divine feminine. In your reading, we saw that you need to release expectation. You need to release your own energy of trying to control where this connection is going, right? So it's absolutely masculine saying, I'm not at a tempered place right now. I'm not at a balanced place right now. I know that I need to come forward as divine masculine who is just who is truthful, who stands in his integrity, who can manage his logic and his emotions. And telepathically, I'm telling you, I am wounded. I'm assessing my wounds. I'm in my ego. But yes, you are my empress. Yes, you are my empress. So if you're getting these little intuitive hits of, of masculine saying, I love you. I still love you. I'm in love with you. You can trust that. In masculine's environment, as related to his feminine, we have communication. He wants to communicate, but it's stuck. It's stuck. He's still in a toxic cycle. He's still in some sort of addiction. He's still in some sort of entrapment. He's still hiding something from his divine feminine, high priestess. And he knows that this is repetitive behavior. He knows he's working against himself. He knows that he needs to be determined to make his dreams real or else the repetitive energy will continue. So when his environment communication is stuck, he's hiding information, he may be elusive, he may not be you know, contacting you with the truth. He knows this. He knows this. So masculine's energy towards his divine feminine is there is some sort of you know, ending happening at the crossroads. He knows he's got to take steps forward. But in his overall energy, he's like, I can't bring you this love just yet. Until I've mastered my mind, my thoughts, my journey. Until I'm in a place of integrity, so I'm no longer deceiving you, self-sabotaging my connection with you or this journey. Telepathically, I'm telling you that I'm assessing my wounds, that I still love you that I know I've hurt you. And in the environment, he's not prepared to communicate. He's stuck in secrets. He's stuck. He's stuck in his hidden knowledge, right? We have kind of the high priestess card in his headspace, and that is his awareness that he needs to be in his truth and in his integrity and in his environment. He's not talking to you because he knows he's not in his truth and integrity. He knows that he is working against himself. He's shooting himself in the foot. He knows this. So this connection, not moving forward at this time, is his protection, your protection, and protection of the connection. So Divine Feminine, he knows you're the one. He knows that. doesn't take a genius to figure that out. But is he prepared to be with the one? Is he prepared to be with this goddess of love? And at this time... He knows he's not. And frankly, you know he's not. Okay? If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. If these readings help you, then please click on the thanks button. It helps me continue to deliver free readings for you on YouTube. Um, and then also, if you guys want to um, purchase the How to Navigate through this Mercury Retrograde. If you want to purchase that $10, 10 cents, click on the link in the in my description box, the PayPal link, and then I will send you the link to the video or become a member on the Queen of Light 1111 YouTube channel and you will get that plus many, many more um, 
uh, many, many more videos. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, oh my gosh, I did a karmic reading here for you guys. I forgot. Okay, here's the thing. Since we're doing masculine's reading, I thought, you know, might as well just look because we know he's stuck. We know he's stuck. You know he's stuck. So what's the bottom of the deck for his energy towards the karmic? He's stuck. Eight of Swords. Where do we get the Eight of Swords? With Divine Feminine, where she's like, oh, dude, you're stuck. Eight of Swords, you're stuck in a karmic pattern. You've imprisoned yourself. And so sure enough, masculine's energy towards the karmic is I'm stuck in my illusions. I'm stuck in my uncertainty. I'm stuck in my fears about how to move forward, how to get out, how to release this connection. So as energy towards the karmic, we have the Ten of Swords. What's ending? Any joy, any happiness. There's an ending to that because he's still in his ego. We know this already. He's walking away from any fat battle. He's walking away from any sort of battle with this karmic because he's just in this energy of, you know, yearning. Right? He's walking away from conflict. He's walking away from, you know, this energy of battling with the karmic situation. Because he's in the, he's he's seduced. He's seduced by his illusions. Any sort of offer, he's juggling. He's not even certain he wants to be there or in this connection. All he wants is peace and harmony. So he decides to settle. But there is an ending. There is an ending with this karmic situation. There is an ending. And he knows that he needs to cut free. Because there is someone very exceptional in his life, his divine feminine. So what's the energy of their connection? High Priestess, Star Card, King of Water, he knows. He knows that he has to cleanse himself. He's aware that he needs to align with himself. He knows that he is only just self being self-protected, protective. He knows that he's resisting change. He knows. He knows that he is not in his highest alignment or in his most highest vibration, vibrational relationship. Frankly, the karmic knows this too. And so the energy of their connection is that there is an awareness that they are resisting. There's an awareness that they're staying stuck. They're choosing to stay stuck when they're both not happy. Okay, have a wonderful day. Sorry, I forgot that I did that for you guys. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll be back soon. Bye.